look at the picture in the box. What are these children playing? Write it down. Now, let's read whatever you have written. Is it bat, ball, cycle, kite, kho kho, hopping? Let's read these words again. Bat, ball, cycle, kite, kho kho, hopping. Have you noticed the difference between the two lines? There is this comma mark between the words in one line and the words are written without the comma mark in the other. Tell me which one is the correct way to write? The one with the comma is the correct way. Things of the same category are listed, so it is correct to insert the comma mark. This is called the comma. When we write down things which are of the same type one after another, we insert a comma after the name of each of these things, except after the last name in the list. Read the lessons from your book and see where the comma is inserted. Now, look at the pictures in the box and read the sentences. Look for the comma. Did you understand where the commas are inserted in these pictures? The sentence is written halfway through and something more is to be written and so there is a comma. If we have to write the sentences said by a person, we insert a comma before the sentence. You read the sentences carefully, didn't you? Did you notice the mark? This is called the double inverted comma. The sentences which are talked directly are written in between these inverted commas. We put a dot at the end of the sentence. This is called the full stop. Look at the pictures in the box and read the sentences. The drawing teacher is showing a calendar to the students in the class. What is this? A mother is asking her child, where had you been? At home, mother is looking out of the window. Who is it? Father is going to office. Mother is asking him, when will you be back? Mother is asking the shopkeeper, how much for this? Two children have come to the house and are asking the third one, why won't you come to play? A girl is showing a paper plane to another girl. How did you make it? What do you see in these pictures? There are words like what, where, who, when, why, how, how much. Questions are asked and there is this question mark. This is called the question mark. Look at the picture in the box and read the sentences. Oh my, what a tall building this is. Wow, very good. Oh, how deep the cut is. Keep it up. You have written the answers well. Oh shit. So much trash out here. Did you see the pictures properly? What did you observe? There is a exclamation mark in all the sentences. It is called the exclamation mark. Whenever we are surprised, happy, sad or we dislike something, we used different words like oh, 
oh my shit wow with these words we tell how we feel that is they express our feelings we insert an exclamation mark after such words one more thing in the above sentences words like what and how are not used to ask questions so there is no question mark there what did we learn in this lesson we learned about the comma full stop double inverted comma question mark and the exclamation mark all of these are called the punctuation marks exercise match the pairs dot comma double inverted comma question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark question mark full stop double inverted comma comma punctuate the following sentences what do you want mother said to sudha come home early oh my how fast he runs what is the time i like potato fries correct the punctuation marks in the following sentences when did you come sir said to the children should we study now